Considering technology sometimes leads us on the path of the bewildered to arrive at our soundest conceptions. We almost always envision the most outlandish considerations before arriving at the easiest solution. It's almost like we are thinking beyond our capabilities before arriving back within what we achieve through the process of elimination. We as humans for some reason always think bigger before realizing it's not within the boundaries of our advancements. The late great Nikola Tesla had the idea of the death ray, proclaiming it would end all wars and destroy armies 10 miles away. We recently found an eerie connection that appears to prove that Nazi Germany were actively trying to develop similar technologies, and had they succeeded, the outcome of the Second World War would have been much different. Just wait till you hear this. They called it the sun gun or the space mirror and had they succeeded with such a technological breakthrough, Germany would have won the war without any further major conflict. Described in Life Magazine July 1954 issue as a reflective, slightly concave disc approximately one mile in diameter, the sun gun would have focused solar rays onto enemy cities and burned them. An accompanying illustration shows a large mirror located 22,300 miles above the equator focusing massive amounts of solar energy onto a city in America's Northeast with devastating and unforeseen consequences. Originally conceived of in 1923 by German rocket scientist Hermann Oberth, Oberth originally intended the space mirror for peaceful purposes such as illuminating ports and thawing frozen rivers, but the concept may have taken on its Death Star undertones with the rise of Nazism in the 1930s. No schematics survived to show how the Nazis might have built the mirror, but life suggests it would arrive in space pre-assembled. A small crew could possibly live inside the mirror, where they would breathe air produced by thousands of pumpkin plants and wear shoes sold with magnets to combat the lack of gravity. A helmet would be mandatory to protect against forgetful crashes into the ceiling. Seems laughable, we know, but you can imagine if this would have worked. In theory, it is plausible. We only smile upon hearing this today because it has never been tested. But as we said before, we almost always think of the impossible before arriving within our means, almost like we are envisioning technology that has existed before, almost like we are envisioning alien technology. After the war, Oberth attempted to bring other nations around to the idea again promoting the Space Mirror's peacetime applications. In a 1961 interview, the scientists suggested the U.S. build a mirror 300 miles in diameter and capable of terraforming Earth using material sourced from the moon to drive down cost. Orbeth wasn't the only one to champion far-out space weapons. During the Cold War, German-American rocket scientist Wernher von Braun lobbied the U.S. military to build a space-based weapon influenced by Ober's ideas to combat the USSR. Von Braun said, if we do not wish them to wrestle the control of space from us, it's time and high time we acted. For us, it has undertones of Tesla's so-called death ray. We do wonder how plausible it is to consider that human understanding and thinking are two different things. We believe we can reach bigger heights than we actually can before inevitably ruling it out. But if we are in fact envisioning things that existed thousands or millions of years ago and the human conscious witness such things, then could we in fact be recovering such memories from that time in the today and now? Just a thought guys, but one we would deeply ponder. Let us know below what you are thinking. Thank you so very much for being out there for us. In turn, we will always be here for you. Thank you for watching guys.